We have UFC 301. Don't worry, Dana, your MMA expert is here to promote 301 for you because no one knows it's really happening right now. I'm messing around. Most people could not tell you who's on this card. I can. Now, the ch main event is Alexandra Pantoja versus Steve Ursig. Now, Pantoja is coming off of a win over Brandon Royval. I don't really know why this fight was booked against Ursig. Ursig is ranked 10th in the division. He only has three UFC fights. And Pantoja has not fought five of the seven guys who are ranked behind the first two that he's recently beaten, which is Roy Val and Brandon Moreno. So of the next seven, he's only fought two of them. I don't know why they did not book one of those other five instead of Ursic. Ursic's coming off of a big knockout of Matt Schnell, but but like what? Matt Schnell got him a title shot. That just shows me the division is really light. But I, I I really don't know why this fight was booked to be honest. I don't know, but I hope Ursig makes it a fight because, yeah, I, I'd rather I want to watch a good fight. The um, under on the co-main event, Jose Aldo has decided he's not retired anymore. I don't know what it is with these guys and their fake retirements and all that crap. But he's fighting in uh, Brazil, fighting Jonathan Martinez. My presumption is if he loses, he retires again. <laughs> I can't see him fighting in if he loses. And then finally, the third fight on that card is Anthony Smith versus Vitor Petrino. Anthony Smith has been doing a lot of talking right now, man. A lot of talking. He's been talking about Alex Pereira as if he is in line for a title shot or trying to pull a Chael Sonnen and trying to talk his way into a title shot. If he pisses off Pereira enough and insults him enough, he'll get him to fight. Buddy, I love you, Anthony Smith. I'm actually a really big fan, but you got to win. <laughs> you got to win some fights, dude. You know, th 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 this he's made comments about Alex Pereira saying that he's just a basic, like he's not good. He says he's not good. He just does one thing really, really, really well. And he's telling people, people don't understand. It's a compliment. I'm like, yeah, it's a sideways compliment. It's not a real compliment. You're basically saying he can't do anything else. And Anthony Smith, I guess, has this belief that he'll take him down. I don't know if he's been watching, but he's not exactly the easiest guy to take down. And you have to get to him to take him down and not get knocked out while trying to get to him to take him down. So I'd like to see Anthony Smith win so he can actually come out after the, after the fight and, and call him out because I'm sure he wants to. I don't know if he'll do anything, but, you know, if you follow, if you follow Uncle Chael Sonnen's book on how to develop title fights, and talk them up and create them out of thin air, then you might have a shot. Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.